All right, so finally the wait is over. We got a confirmation that a collab is coming this week. Uh, I can't show in game, so I'm gonna have to uh, steal Sora's picture here. If you go in JP right now, there's a D3 event, which means a collab will be coming. There's nothing in the login screen reward here that would actually indicate what the collab would be, unfortunately. Sometimes we've had, and I think we, we haven't had that in a while, but uh, we've had before, like, hints as to which anime or whatever it would be. So all we can do really is guess, essentially, because we know it's a collab, we just don't know what. And everyone's been saving gems, like, dude, I'm saving for the collab. And the collab just wouldn't come. <laughs> just there's no collab, guys. Back it up. But now it, it's here. So what do I think it will be, and what not? I looked up right. What were the collabs that we got in this sort of time slot in the previous years? And for the past two years, we've had a collab in this exact same time slot, end of August, believe it or not. This is why, especially a lot of people have been saying, dude, it's going to be a collab, because we've had for the past two years. And what collabs were those? So in 2022, August was 31st, the collab that we've had, let me actually put the collab tab here, it's going to be easier. Uh, the collab that we've had was actually, where are they? Re-Zero Part 2. So it was a return. We got Echidna and Reinhard. And then in 2023, the collab that we had in August was actually Attack on Titan. Uh, not the greatest one, but, you know, they tried. It was Attack on Titan. And they brought back uh, all the characters and they released a new Eren and Levi. Uh, commenting on if the collab was good or not doesn't matter. Funnily enough, in 2021, we did not get a collab end of August, but we did get a collab end of October. Now, end of October, I think, is also a collab time slot anyways. So, I don't know if I would say it's uh, the same thing. But in any case, oh yeah, in end of September, we actually got a collab with KOF in 2020. Uh, I would say it's like a much closer time slot than the one we have right now. So, because the last two collabs of this time slot have been reruns and not new IPs, I am actually more inclined to believe it would be a rerun. It doesn't, it, it's not like a, a science here, but just looking at it, it, it seems to be. And the past collabs we've had in October have been new IPs. So, I don't know. I don't know. I think if it is a rerun, personally, the one I would like to see the most, and I think almost everyone would like to see the most, is Slime. Slime rerun would be amazing, and I I don't have much faith on their ability to create hype, but if they were smart, they would make this rumor an LR. It doesn't matter, to, oh, but what about LR coins? Collab characters don't use the same materials for a lot of things. For, uh, I say one thing, maybe not a lot of things, but... Holy Relics for collab characters don't use the same Holy Relic material, so they would just use like some event material to make him an LR, it's not a big deal, right? It would be cool, uh, slime rerun, and they could bring some characters people have been asking for, like Xion, Diablo, Vildora. And it would be funny because on my other channel, there's gonna be a slime update uh, this weekend. So, they are gonna release a Vildora. A, a Diablo and a Rimuru. I have not much faith that they would release two men in Grand Cross. It's most likely... The most likely thing is that they would release Xion, because boob, and a new Milum, because people like Milum, and she's a woman, so... I think that'll be the most likely new characters. And it's like, oh, but we already have Milum. Well, we already had Aaron. We already had Levi. They released two of the new... <laughs> they released two new Levi... Or a new Levi and a new Aaron anyway. They don't care, right? So, I, I don't know if that holds up much. And obviously, the one that... The second one people want to see the most is Stranger Things. Uh, Stranger Things is fire. And it would be so hype. And it would be so smart because they just dropped Jenna that everyone's summoned for 
and everyone would be so so excited to play with Jenna and the Stranger Things characters. That'd be cool. For new IPs, I've already talked about in another video, but I would like to add some that I did not mention. It's a little zoomed in on my uh, browser, but it's whatever. Uh, so leveling, I mean, I think it's an obvious choice because they literally own a soul leveling game. It's right here, soul leveling arise. And it has made good money. It's been going down because people are quitting, but it, they own the, <laughs> the game. So I think it'll be sick. The only issue I have with soul leveling, I mean, the one people have is that, oh, there's not that many good characters. Actually, I disagree. Never mind. It, it, ignore that. Because no, there's, there's Jinwoo, there's the blonde woman. I'm sorry, not good with names. There's the fire. Uh, S rank guy, there's the shield guy, there's uh, there's his friend, the money guy. The, the <laughs> I'm not good with names. <laughs> there's uh, there's the wolf guy. Like it becomes like a like a like a furry. There's there's characters, man. Jinwoo obviously is, is the main character, and that's the one people would actually care about. But you can say the same thing about Eminence in Shadow. This is one people were screaming for. Uh, last year, or is it two years ago? It was when uh, Shield Hero came out. It was two years ago. It was two years ago. And recently, I have read uh, Eminence in Shadow. It is goaded. And I mean, same thing. Sid is the character people would actually care about. But the they could just pick randomly three of the other girls, and people wouldn't bat an eye. There's a boom. This picture right here. Pick these three girls. I don't even know their names. I, <laughs> I'm caught up with uh, with uh, this manga. It's one of those monthly mangas, which pisses me off, because that means I'm never going to finish. It's never going to finish. It's going to take like 10 years. But it is what it is. The, the anime is apparently really good. I'll eventually watch it. Another manga I started, which is pretty good. So I'm picking, by the way, people are like, oh man, why, why don't you say One Piece? Why don't you say Jutsu? No. They don't have collabs with Shonen Jump IPs. They just don't. Every collab we've had is a non-Shonen Jump manga or anime. It's manga, but it's not a Jump IP. So take any Jump out of your brain. No Jojo. No Naruto. Th th these, these manga are all from Shonen. Or from Jump. Attack on Titan is not from Jump. Uh, Overlord is not from Jump. Like these, the uh, <laughs> Stranger Things is not from Jump. <laughs> these are not Jump, right? So anything that is Jump, just ig ignore. It's not gonna happen. If it does happen, crazy, but it's not gonna happen, right? They definitely don't have the. I don't think money. I think it's just too expensive to do it. Uh, Bungle Stray Dogs. I actually don't know if this is a. Jump IP? I don't think it is. Because it's not in the Viz app. It's pretty good. I started reading it recently. And if you go on like the, any of the manga apps, it has some of the highest rating. So I'm guessing people love this. I haven't finished it. I'm not, I'm not too deep into it yet. I'll get there eventually. Freerun, I don't believe is a, ju is a jump. Would be so good. Freerun would be so good. Because uh, it, it has a lot of hype right now. And, I mean, it's objectively a good story, so. And I think, last but not least, uh, the Seven Deadly Sins. We haven't had uh, any Seven Deadly Sins characters in a while that matter. So I think a collab with, um, you know, maybe Ascanor or Meliodas would be cool. But, you know, I don't think they care about Seven Deadly Sins anymore, so. In any case, uh, cool. Cool stuff. I wonder if people would be more happy with a return of a collab people care or a new collab. I think, in my opinion, the highest likelihood is a return right now and a new collab in October, because that's how it's been for a bit. And I just, I, I look at Grand Cross schedules and they don't usually break schedule often. I use the same word twice, usually and often mean the same thing, but they don't usually break schedule. Sometimes they do for money. Right? Oh, instead of dropping, you know, a regular banner here, let's drop a seasonal festival here. But, you know. In any case, 